everybody, it's John here from Gamiac.com. Here we are today back in the Bioshock collection doing more challenge rooms today. We are doing the collector challenge in a shocking turn of events. This is to find all of the roses. There's going to be 10 in this level, so uh, let's get started. Alright, from the start, just turn around and kill yourself using the bathysphere lever. That's how you pr pretty much start the level. And uh, once you respawn, make sure you pick up the uh, shotgun, the bullets, and the two first aid kits. Hit the switch to open up the door. Then you want to load the shotgun with the electric bullet and then uh, fire at this uh, electric um, switch right here. Head on outside and then grab the first aid kit and the two Eve Hypnos and then head over here. Uh, watch that splicer kill herself and loot her dead body. Make sure you hit the elevator button and then stand in the shaft and you want to jump on top of the elevator. You have to time this right because if the elevator comes you can't obviously jump on top of it. Right at the top, the first uh, rose will be on top of this button right here. Hit the button again. Now you want to be crouching and as you're crouching you want to lean towards this wall and then you can head into this part of the shaft and grab the second rose. And you can also hop down here to the second level. Once you're down here, what you want to do is you want to open up that supply chest, grab the first aid kit as well as the tonic, which is going to be static discharge. Make sure you grab the first aid kit on this table. You can uh, grab this plasmid if you want, but uh, anyways, the most important thing you get on this floor is going to be the trap bolt off of this dead body right here. So make sure you loot the dead body to uh, get the trap bolt. You can also pick up an Eve Hypno on that table. Lots of stuff to get. And before you jump down to the ground floor, you want to make sure you get that first aid kit underneath that uh, sheet metal right there. Alright, make sure you pick up the electric bullets and then load the shotgun again. Shoot the switch to charge it and then hit the uh, button to use it. And now you want to go over here and then uh, find this enemy and get him chasing after you. Lead him to the switch and let him hit you. Your static discharge will kill him as well as charge up the switch. So do that and flip the switch. Alright, that should be good. Now what you want to do is you want to head into the bathrooms and that's going to be located behind the elevator. In here is going to be another enemy so you want to lure her um, to the switch as well and do the same thing. Let her hit you in front of the switch. So uh, get her chasing after you, bring her here, she's going to smack you. Static discharge charges up the lever so we're going to hit it again. That should be three charges on the ferris wheel. Now what you want to do is you want to head back into the bathroom head into um, the left side and then on this uh, poster right here is going to be your third rose. Make sure you loot everything else in the bathroom like the Eve Hypnos and all the dead bodies and especially the supply chest and uh, we're gonna need all of those to uh, charge up the uh, ferris wheel. So pick all of those up and then leave the bathroom. You want to head uh, to the record store which is uh, next to where we found the first splicer so head back in that direction and uh, head on to the uh, record store right here. Once you're in here, make sure you uh, open up the uh, supply chest, grab the Eve Hypno. There's coffee here if you want, but uh, the rose is going to be wedged into the gate right here. So make sure you pick that up. That is rose number four. So uh, after you get that, you are going to head back out and we're going to head to the carnival area. There's lots of stuff to do here. Uh, make sure you get to this supply chest right here as well as the Eve Hypno the telekinesis plasmid as well as the first aid kit but there should be a little sister vent right here inside is actually your fifth rose so make sure you uh, jump and grab head further into the carnival and you want to head to the barrel game right here look into the far right barrel for rose number six so pick that up and then rose number seven is going to be in the next booth over it's going to be like a dart toss game so uh, pick up one of the hooks and then you want to throw it at the balloon in the lower right your prize should be a first aid kit as well as rose number seven. So make sure you get those two. Also loot the uh, dead body for a trap bolt. Then you want to head into the 1951 room. The combination is 1951, obviously. So uh, make sure you punch that in to get access to this room. Another splicer in here. So get her chasing after you to uh, charge up the lever. Uh, this one tends to get lost since she's kind of far away from the lever, so make sure you uh, check up on her. Make sure she's chasing you, and just lead her back to the main room. And uh, once you stand over here, just let her hit you, and static discharge should charge up the lever. Once it's charged up, make sure you uh, flip it, and uh, you should be good. You can also loot all of their dead bodies. Uh, one of them has a first aid kit, which is pretty useful for later. So uh, once you have all that, head back to the carnival area. And uh, this time we are going to use telekinesis to grab a teddy bear. So grab the teddy bear off the uh, stand from the left. Then you want to head into the flaming room right here. 
use the teddy bear to uh, light it on fire. So I just head over to this uh, bonfire right here and then light it up. And you want to bring it to the top and you want to drop it on this block of ice right here. That should melt the entire block of ice, especially the uh, ones on the bottom. So uh, make sure you drop down and look up inside this pipe is going to be the next rows. What you want to do now is you want to uh, find your flaming teddy bear again, or if you lost it, grab a new one. There's also a bunch of first aid kits in this room in case you need them. I recommend having a bunch because uh, they're helpful for later. Uh, drop the uh, teddy bear using the X button into the pipe, and uh, that should uh, let you telekinesis all the goodies out of here, including the automatic hack tool and the electric bullets. And you're going to need those two. Uh, you can also grab some bandages too. However, they're not too useful because there's a bunch of first aid kits in this room anyways. Uh, before you leave, make sure you go in the corner and then open up that supply chest. And now we're going to leave and uh, head on over to the 1951 room again, which is right over here. Head in there and inside is going to be another supply chest, a, a first aid kit, and an Eve Hypno. There's also another first aid kit on the uh, desk in case you need them. But uh, there's also a rose in here, so make sure you grab um, it. Uh, jump on the filing cabinet and then jump on the shelf. Look up at the light fixture. There's your rose. Pick it up. That is rose number 9. And finally, rose number 10 you can get um, by turning the Ferris wheel. So we're going to head back to the uh, Ferris wheel room in the main room. But uh, before you do that, you uh, want to make sure you get um, all the electrical stuff uh, to charge it. So head into this room and grab the Eve Hypno. Try to open up the safe. That should uh, spawn some trap bolts. Use telekinesis to grab one of the bolts and bring it over to the safe to charge it. And you can grab the crossbow. You can also use your telekinesis to clear the room of all the trap bolts. If not, you can just run through them and just use your first aid kits to heal up. Uh, that's why we grabbed so many. So uh, either way, and since it's not timed, you uh, shouldn't be worried about uh, taking your time. So just do that. And finally, head to the back of the statue and grab the chemical thrower as well as the chest and uh, loot all the corpses and stuff for good um, stuff. Um, anyways, once you have everything, we are going to head over to the uh, U-Invent machine and use our hacking tool to hack it. So head on over here. Hit X to hack, hit X again to auto hack, and now you can build electric gel. And if you have the ingredients for trap bolts, you can build the third one. But you don't need it because you don't need to turn the Ferris wheel nine times. I think you can turn it six and still get the rose. But uh, head on back to the lever and then use the uh, electric buck from the shotgun to charge up the thing. And then hit the switch. That should turn it. And then what you want to do is you want to bust out your trap bolt. You have two to three shots, depending if you found the ingredients for the third one. Uh, just shoot it and uh, walk into the bolt. That should charge up the uh, switch. Turn the switch again. That should get the Ferris wheel turning. And, uh, and what you want to do now is you want to heal up because you take damage from the trap bolt. But uh, shoot it again, walk into it, and then turn the wheel uh, another time. And uh, you just want to keep your eyes on the background. Once the thing explodes, you can get the rose. Um, so it takes seven turns to get this thing. But uh, what you want to do is you want to grab it and then rescue the little sister who should have been rescued after six turns of the wheel anyways. Rescue her to end the level and you should get your achievement. And there it is. It's going to be 4-5 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.